daughter now these days they're paid but it comes at a price I think they're not as respected as it was back then the context now is different it's different when you take daughter out of Tonga and see them in Australia in New Zealand and wherever they do that it's it's a I don't know, I I don't like it I've, I've been in Australia and I've taken some girls to Toa and I would usually like to go and play with the band and sing with them. These men are very disrespectful just because they pay here and you look at the guy and you, you'll probably have grandchildren now <laughs> yeah and, and yeah and sometimes I would say something like uh, I'm sure you have daughters and you wouldn't want them to be treated like this and they start to say oh but they start blaming the girl. In the old days, the girls have, have more upper hand than the guys because they sit in their house when the guys come over to have ask her to fix the cover and she picked which one she wants. It still happened, but not that many because it's easier you go and ask a girl to go to a dance or go to a movie. If I'm a girl, I'd rather do that than a guy come over and try to get me out easier for him uh, if I'm a girl I don't like that <laughs> I'd rather sit over there and make him come and try to do everything he, he can do to marry me <laughs> <laughs> but that's the old ways how do we do that And when I go drink kava, I don't like it to be served by a female person. Do you want to know why? Because I want to make the men feel how we feel when we tease them. So you get a toa tangata? Yes. And I have to select which one I want. Are you married? Yes. Out. Are you single? Yes. Are you still a virgin? <laughs> Serve the kava. <laughs> I can tell you experience of all girls drinking kava with the men's toa or just a girl's toa or vice versa. When I was in college, <laughs> uh, I wasn't the one invited because I'm not a very good looking toa, but my roommate was invited. And he would come home and he'd have like a couple hundred bucks. Was, and he was keeping it from me. So, of course, those guys were, don't tell him. Don't, don't tell T where you're coming to. And he didn't mind because he was a broke college student. And, and it was fun for him. He was, he was going to serve kava for, you know, a dozen girls, you know. And, and I thought to myself, I never heard of that before. Uh, this is 20 years ago. And I thought about it when he comes home. You know, he's tired going to class and football practice. But... You know, it was it was a different twist, and now it's almost normal. You know, you know the girls will have their settings, and um, I think it's not talked about as often because people perceive the identity of having kavas for men. Things will change. We need to accept that. Women will come into the kava bowl. Women will be part of that faikava things as well. We'll have to accept that. And uh, if they were to run our women's Faikava group, if uh, they and they have to have a, a man, a man to be a toa, let them be. <laughs>